Hi, this is Dixie with rhinestonefetish.com and today I'm going to show you how to iron on a rhinestone transfer. Now, one thing that I'm asked all the time is how do you find the center of a shirt? Well, I'm using a little piece of scrap fabric here, but it's very simple. You do the same thing with a shirt. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it, you know, so it's shoulder to shoulder, sleeve to sleeve, the bottom of the shirt. Just make sure it's completely in half. And what we're going to do is you fold it in half. You're going to take your iron and you're just going to hold the iron there until you put a tiny little crease in it. So when I open mine up, you're going to see I already had a crease in it, but you're going to see the crease down the center. So then what we're going to do, and make sure your iron is preheated, you want to use it on the highest um, temperature that you can for the fabric. Cotton is the most desirable. Okay, so your transfer is going to come with a white backing. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the white backing, and you're going to see your transfer is on a sticky paper. So what we're going to do, you're going to put it sticky side down so the rhinestones are facing up. Now the Florida Lee is already centered, so what we're going to do is we're just going to line it up point to point on this crease. Now you would do the same thing with your transfer. You could also kind of fold the transfer in half. Of course do this gently and do this light, you know, be careful doing this. Make sure you still leave the back on when you're trying to find the center of a transfer if you need to do, needed to do that. But um, in this case we don't need to do that. Um, when I'm done with this, like I could briefly show you how to do who, how to do that. Like here's a transfer. You would essentially just kind of take it and you would fold the transfer in half. And you just kind of make a crease here and that would find your center. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our iron. We're going to apply pressure only, no steam. So you just take the iron, you hold it down, and we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. Okay, make sure you push it down nice and good and apply the pressure as, as evenly as you can. Okay, we're going to lift it up. That should be done. Okay, it's going to be very hot, so you don't want to touch it right now. Let it cool down a bit until it's kind of like a lukewarm, and that's going to be the best. It's, it, you know, it cools down pretty quickly. Okay, so now it's ready. So you're just going to slowly pull off the tape. If any of the stones still stick, you would just, you know, lay the tape right back down and go over that one spot again. Okay, but in this case, they all came off perfect, so they're ready. Um, you can give it a rub, make sure everything, you know, is, is, is on there good. And um, that's essentially it. You're done, you know. So um, that's easy enough. So if you have any questions, you can always give us a call. And again, this is Dixie at rhinestonefetish.com. Thanks.